Mike Tyson is not the sort of person we generally interview on the show. He's not a political figure. He's not still boxing. Why did we talk to him? Well, because Mike Tyson has spent almost 40 years at the very pinnacle of American society. And then at the very bottom, he went to prison at one point. He's seen everything. And a lot of people who lead lives like that are destroyed by them. They become numb and insensible, particularly if they're boxers. But a rare few become wise and fascinating. I'm really proud of my childhood. Yep. Yeah. But no advantages. Yeah, my disadvantage was my advantage. What do you mean? Um, my adversity yeah. inspired me to be more than what I truly was. I believe that. When, I was, when the guys were talking to me, because they wanted, they, they said, well, you're not a bad guy because you did that. So we talk, he said, if we have an ex-fighter, Bobby Stewart, you need to meet him. He'll probably get you in shape. And I said, well, I would love to meet him. I met Muhammad Ali. I seen Muhammad Ali once. And then this guy knocks on my door. I heard you want to talk to me. What do you want? I said, I, I want to be a fighter. He said, everybody wants to be a fighter. You show me you want to be a fighter. Let's just see how your conduct is. And I went from being a really jerky, nasty guy to becoming an A Stewart. How do you feel about the guys you were in the ring with? Um, I wanted to kill them. <laughs> well, I can tell. <laughs> why? Why did uh, I'm laughing nervously? Oh. Um, what? You really felt that way. You wanted. Yeah. To. How did you get yourself into a frame of mind where you wanted to kill them? Just think about who I am. I don't want to go back there no more. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in that poverty um, state of mind anymore. Not from a physical perspective. I don't want to be poverty struck in here. Yeah. So would you sit and think about it before a fight? Think about the guy you were fighting? Absolutely. The more you hurt them, the higher you go in life.